Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inner Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by about $3.75. Right now, futures are sitting at $25.63 and a quarter per contract. All in all, the futures are a bit lower ahead of the opening bell, but we'll see what this market gives us once the opening bell rings. We have lots, and I do mean lots of stocks out here that are reporting earnings. So we have lots of plays to go into the intraday stock, into this intraday stock chat room today. And if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see what it's all about. We had another solid day yesterday. And again, we're gonna look to keep that going today. Let's take a look at Juniper Networks. JNPR is the ticker symbol here. Stock closed yesterday at 26.16. It is now trading at 24 and a quarter. I have levels ready to go go already at nine o'clock for juniper so again if you haven't done so come take that seven day free trial juniper is in play this morning next we're going to take a look at this chipotle mexican grill this is getting absolutely slaughtered today stock closed at 324 dollars and 30 cents it's now trading at 284 dollars and 70 cents this is a big 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 decline ahead of the opening bell i have levels to go for chipotle mexican grill already so again right at nine o'clock in the morning i'll give those levels out they'll be posted up in the intraday stock chat room and we will be looking to trade this name stock that is doing better is akamai a-k-a-m Akamai Technologies trading up at $56, closed at $51.91. Great move there. Traders should watch. If this stock gets a little momentum going, traders should watch the 6145, 6150 level as maximum upside. I don't really see the stock getting much above there. We'll see if it gets a short squeeze into that level. But really, this is a solid move for Akamai this morning. Let's take a look at AMD, this chip maker. In Intel's competitor right now trading at twelve dollars and eighty seven cents closed at fourteen twenty five. Whoa, this is a big haircut here. This stock is down, down, and around. I have levels ready for it, though, in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 a.m. Let's take a look at Texas Instruments, ticker symbol TXN. Texas Instruments trading at $94.70, closed at $96.44. If this got down to around the 85 level, I would be interested. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot to do here. Again, it's not that big of a decline this morning. Let's take a look at AT&T. That is trading at $34.24. I actually like the stock down anywhere around $34.10. Uh, stock can be played there. Again, um, AT&T reporting earnings. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. It will be on my radar this morning. Here we have a, a chart of Boeing. Boeing reported earnings as well. Stock is trading at $264.50. Closed at $266. So you got a little downtick in Boeing. We're not going to make too much out of that this morning. Let's take a look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is trading right now at 46.20 closed at 46.18 so again very very little movement for coca-cola let's take a look at visa this morning visa traded yesterday at 108.41 at the closing bell it's trading at 109.40 so you got a little uptick there visa is in an uptrend it still can move higher again if you own a trail the stop loss if you don't own it don't do anything right now. Wait for a pattern. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings in the intraday stock chat room. Anytime you get a move in Visa, you also want to take a look at MasterCard. That's uh, trading at 146 right now, up from 145.80. Let's take a look at Northrop Grumman. Go to the defense companies here. Stock closed at 294.03. It is trading at 301 spot 23. So good little pop there for Northrop. Stock is in an uptrend, holding firm right now. No play on it yet. Let's take a look at WBA, which is Walgreens Boots Alliance, better known as just Walgreens. Stock right now is trading at $70.35. That's up from $67.29. Nice little pop there for Walgreens. I think the stock looks fairly strong here. That's a pretty strong gap up as well. So no play on it yet. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. We'll see if it gives us a pattern. Maybe it can move higher later today. Let's take a look at Express Scripts, ESRX. Is the ticker symbol here? Stock is trading 
at 58.05, closed at 58.85. So a little bit of a downtick. I don't think there's all that much downside in Express Scripts, so we're going to leave that one alone right now. But we have lots and lots, I do mean lots of other names out here that have reported earnings. And again, we're going to be looking at a lot of these different names. Uh, another one is going to be Edward Life Sciences, uh, Dr. Pepper Snapple. That is getting hit today. DPS is on the radar. Stock right now is not showing us any major indications, but that will be in play a little bit later. It should be down uh, at the open. So we're going to see how these and others play out, and we'll see what it gives us. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's get over to the gold market. Gold trading down $4.5 to $1,273.90 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, which is a good way to track gold, that is trading at $120.89, down from $121.33 at the close yesterday. Crude oil this morning trading down 28 cents to $52.18 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, it's a good way to track the oil movement. You'll see that this is trading at $10.48 this morning, down from $10.54 yesterday at the closing bell. So again, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. We got lots of plays in the intraday stock chat room. We're going to have at least four or five gaps um, to play right at the opening bell. So again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You get to see our screens. You get to see all of our trades before the market even opens, all of our setups, and whatever we could find when the market opens, that's also going to be a bonus. So again, we had a great day yesterday. Going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading session, and we will see you on the charts.